So hi guys and welcome back to this amazing channel. So last time I was here, we passed through Arusha and you guys talked a lot and said there's a lot in Arusha that we did not talk about. And today I had to come back to Arusha just because of you guys to bring you everything that we missed. Okay, right? And to take us through uh, the features we have here, he's our tour guide here. My name is Daudi. Daudi. Daudi like David. David Livingstone, we translate in Swahili for Daudi Jiwe Lakudum on a lighter note. So today we are here. This is the Geneva of Africa. It's Arusha Clock Tower. This is the Arusha Clock Tower. Why is it called the Geneva of Africa? Yes, they call it the Geneva of Africa because it was here building around the 20th century. 20th century. Yes, by billionaire from Greece, whereby they believe that that is the middle of all Africa from the clock tower up to the town of the Africa to the thing from the clock tower up to Cairo Main Street divided into two parts. Two. So, like, guys, eh, this clock here is the middle point of Africa. So, from here to South Africa and from here to Egypt is the same distance, right? So, this is the middle point of Africa. That's why we call it the Geneva of Africa. Yes. And you not only that, also we believe that it's the center of three countries: Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. So it's also the center of the three East African countries. Yes. Why is it the center of East African countries? Because it's located in at the middle of Tanzania, Kenya, and the Uganda. So even if it's more in Tanzania. It's in the middle of the three countries. Yes. So on the map of the three East African countries, yes. the center point yes. will be here. Yes. Because also it's located in the north of Tanzania. The north of Tanzania. Yes. Close to the south of Kenya, Kenya. and the south of Uganda, Uganda as well. Yes. Oh, nice. Amazing to know. And not only that also, we have the white tower over there. Mm -hmm. That tower, it represents the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. During Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the forming. So yeah. guys, you've done history. You know about Hiroshima and Nagasaki? That is World War One. World War One, And the, I think the history of uh, that one is all over the middle. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, you know who bombed who? The fight was actually between Americans. And I think that was the... That one is what brought peace. Because now when now the Americans bombed Japan, the, the two bombs, one to Hiroshima and the other one to Nagasaki, it brought down everything else. And even currently, the effect of that bombing is seen in the people of Japan. That's why they are born with small eyes. Yes. Okay, you guys come on the comment section and tell me. That's the effect of the two bombs, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right? Yes. And they not only that, that tower, it say that we send love in this world, it's everything. Because this one, it represents that war is not good in human activity, and this is not good in the world. Wow. So peace, it also symbolizes peace. There's a war. War is not good. So, and that's why we, we have it as a right. White is always a symbol of peace. Even at war, when the medics are coming in, they always have the white flags. So they are not shot during the, you know, the exchange of fire. So peace, white symbolizes peace. So anything else about? It's uh, the four point button. The four point, uh, share a time. Share a time. So four point, four points are all over. Actually, uh, there's four points in, in Uganda, Kenya, Uganda, all over the oh. world. Initially, this was the new Arusha Hotel. New Arusha Hotel. Yes. yes, I know because my cousin moved one there. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it changed. When did it change? They changed the name after when we get any independence. Because uh, during that time, it is still under the government. And after that, the brand of four, four points after taking over, still now they have that brand. And it was very famous because uh, Around the, the clock tower and four points hotel, what among of the famous movie for it's Atari, it has been acted here to represent the Arusha tower 
and also the Arusha National so Park. So Hatari is a, a Tanzanian movie? No, it's a British movie. It's a British movie? Yes. In 1972. Okay. One year after go, getting the band. I need to go watch that video. Hatari is a Hatari. And if you watch the movie Hatari, come on the comment section and tell me. Okay, encourage me to go watch it as well, right? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Mambo VP. You can get everything. Mpesa, Kenya, you can access your bank. Mm. If there, there was open here, mm -hmm. you can able to see the kilometer from different places, Manyara, Serengeti, the Kondoa, the Doma. Mm. Oh, from here now to all the other places. Eh? Yeah. So from here to the mm. uh, 418. 418, you can see that far? Yeah. Yeah. Me, me, me.